14 and verse 30 avoid competitive jealousy it is a weakness in all men competitive jealousy has nothing to do with being good or bad it's a limitation in men the moment we feel incapacitated based on an obvious reference the temptation is there it is something you must be intentional about you think because you have the holy ghost because you have the word automatically everyone will at one point or the other be tempted on this wise it takes knowledge to immune you are we together the bible says a sound heart is the tree of is the life of the flesh but envy the rottenness of the bones avoid competitive jealousy next scripture very quickly proverbs 27 and verse 4 proverbs 27 and verse 4 the bible says wrath is cruel and anger is outrageous but who is able to stand before envy that means these things are bad though. anger is not good but relative to to envy anger is like a saint competitive jealousy can i tell you this except you've not been alive for a while you must have come across this as a temptation and the lord is granting you the grace now to build through the immunity of the word you must enter into a covenant that when god brings you to people and associations that are for your destiny you must make up your mind that you will fight with the determination of a warrior to make sure that you run away from competitive jealousy we live in a world of social media we live in a world of statistics where it is easy for people to compare and contrast whether as a man of god whether as a businessman we live in a celebrity world where there is an obsession to show that you are the one doing this or that you have to be very careful thank god for westernization but we must be very careful because it's turning human beings to become something else are we together now there is dignity in your uniqueness you must appreciate who and what god has made out of you you know many times when i speak especially to preachers when they come to meet me you can see this air of sincere intimidation as though apostle you are the ones who are doing this and that and very quickly and lovingly i hush them and i say no do not think so the basis of our judgment is already flawed based on our mindset you will have to be god to judge correctly you would have called anna the prophet as a failure because all she did was to stay in the temple for more than 60 years who would give her honorarium who would put posters with her face there yet that was the first person that jesus was brought to before he met other people what of simeon the prophet our parameters for measuring success especially in our world today has to be re-edited from the lens of god's word so that we do not put the pressure that begins to fabricate competitive jealousy chances are excellent that when you see a man of god who seems to be charismatic worded as we call seems to have the anointing a crowd some level of influence chances are that based on our human parameter we place those people high we give them we accord them respect and don't get me wrong priesthood has a demand for honor and within the boundary of priesthood the honor that is demanded should be accorded but not to the detriment of those who may seem to be the nobodies because you see i have learned something by scripture and experience when god hides you is proof that you are extremely special to him one of the ways that god shows how special a person or a thing is is that he hides it look at the formation of the human body the parts that are more precious that are really responsible for your being alive and healthy are hidden something can bruise your hand right now and within a few days it can heal back but let that happen to your heart let that happen to your liver let that happen to your lungs avoid competitive jealousy is is god speaking to us yes 
envy and jealousy is something that is in us humans generally there is a psychology to it that you see everyone sincerely no matter how right or wrong generally speaking everyone sincerely is attempting to make efforts to make meaning out of their lives whether or not they end up getting it is a different thing but intrinsically i've had the honor and privilege of talking with all kinds of people you can talk with someone who is a drug addict and you look at him and say my, my friend now that you are in this do you love this kind of life you're living he will tell you no he will say what did you aspire to be they will tell you i wanted to be a pilot i wanted to be a this and that so nobody generally would want to just get up and destroy themselves except that you see i teach the school of ministry students that success has an implication on those who are the onlookers because the moment you are commanding results of any sort generally your result kills the excuses of people who have used excuses to justify mediocrity so if they say i was not able to do well they say no that's not true what of so 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 and so under the same condition and that becomes the root of jealousy avoid competitive jealousy what makes you avoid competitive jealousy the knowledge that you are a unique expression of God's glory unique expression of God's glory